It's Wednesday night and we got five games for you lined up. Let's see what's cooking. My name is Andreas Achinka and this is your Daily KHL Update. We travel to Havaras first, one more take on Boris. The Tigers are still looking for the first win of the season and we're already 11 days in. We'll pick it up early in the second when Amor get it over the goal line on a power play. Igor Rudinkov snipes it top shelf for his second of the year. Boris get back even just a few minutes later as they can run on a man advantage as well. Roman Starchenko risks it from the right circle. Mario Blankhammer stops it, but the puck still deflects into the net of Captain Maxim Kondratiev. Unlucky. Moving on to the third now. Boris kill off a penalty and goes straight on a power play. Starchenko jumps out of the penalty box, gains the zone, gives it to Eric Tengretti, and he scores his first career KHL goal. Former Belleville Bulls captain, who has played over 150 games in the NHL, gives the Vistas a late lead. They bag it in the final minute of regulation as Nikita Mihailos is tipped on his way to the empty net and that's an automatic goal in every league. Eric Tangredi celebrates the game winning goal while Amor lose yet another one. 3-1 is your final. And now to Vladivostok where Arbonal plays structure in the second game of the back-to-back -back series. The Saros won 2-1 the day before. We go to Petisa Farina for the action. Admiral strike first. Yuri Kozlovsky drops to the left circle and one times it home for his first of the year. Great setup by Oleg Lamako from behind the goal line. Late in the period now and a peculiar incident takes place. Vladimir Bertuzov shoots from a bad angle and the puck gets stuck between the skate and the pad of Vasily Demchenko. How often do you see something like that really? They take a closer look at it and determine that the puck never crossed the line. Still a 1-0 hockey game. A few shifts later Alexei Kruchinin puts the puck on net from the blue line and it goes in off Roslan Karlan. It's not gonna count though as Karlan gloves it into the net. No goal. Second period now and Traktor score one that does count. Yes, Sevirtina lets it rip from the high slot and Lukas Sedlak tips it home. That's number five on the season for the former Columbus Blue Jacket. Late in the period, Yaroslav Gossip picks up the puck in his defensive zone, streaks down the right wing, cuts to the slot and sends it upstairs for his first goal of the season. Former Florida Panthers pick gives Traktor a 2-1 lead of 40. They secure the win late in regulation as Alexi Krochina scores his second on the empty net. Truck to win their third game out of four to take it 3-1 on the road. We travel to Cherif events now where Sarah style play host to Yakuri. That's a lot of yellow. The views to strike eight and a half minutes in. Nikos Jensen intercepts a pass in the neutral zone, sees a lot of white ice in front of him, skates to the hash marks and puts it past Rafael Hakimov. One nothing gestures. Homeside gets back even later in the period. Daniel Vovchenko moves the puck to Yuri Trubachov, then makes himself available on the slot and bangs it past Yanis Kalnic. Tie game of 20. Yokuri regained the lead just 37 seconds into the next period. Henry Coppola goes for a suicide pass from the corner, connects with Nikos Jansen, and the Danish forward scores his second of the game in course of the season. Severstal almost find a quick answer as the two defensemen combine for a scoring chance. Ilya Kokolov with a setup and Nikita Makiev with a one-timer, but it rings up the pipe and goes back into play. The Jesters improve their lead to 3 1 late in the period. Oliver Lauritsen smashes it past Hakimba for his first goal of the year. They put it out of reach late in regulation as Henry Ikonen slides it into the empty 4x6. Jokert win their second in a row as they take it 4 1 on the road. Our next stop is in Nizhny Novgorod. It's the site of battle between Torpedo and defending champions Red Army. This is the home opener for Torpedo who have won just one game out of four so far. Moscow starts strong just a few minutes into the game. Sergei Talchinsky carries it coast to coast, splits the team, jumps to the slot, taking the shot, but Anders Lindbeck makes himself look big. Red Army get one past him late in the period. Mikhail Grigorenko finds himself with all kinds of room and time on a power play. Gets a great pass from Kirill Kaprizov and scores his second of the year. Kaprizov improves his point streak to four games and it's 1-0 Red Army. Second period now the puck squirts out to Anton Volchenkov who hammers it on net. Ilya Sorokin stops it and then makes two more saves on the follow-up chances. Confident play by this hot Islanders prospect. A few shifts later, Pavel Vorkolamev flicks it over to the Mirzhakarov, who snipes a top shelf past Sorokin a split second before Sergei Talchinsky runs him over. 
Great hockey play by Tafara. Find a better shot for his second of the year. Tie game. He goes to overtime. We're in the last minute. Talchinski sends it across the ice. If the second misses the net and then fails to cash in on the rebound. What a chance wasted. A few moments later, Linden Bay has a go from on top of the right circle and it rings off the pipe. It stays in play and it's an man rush for Torpedo now. Stanislav Bacharov passes it to left. A shot, a save, a rebound, and Bacharov scores! What a sequence! Bay hits the post, Sorokin pulls off a phenomenal save, and then World Junior Chef and Bacharov bats it home. Unreal ending and Torpedo beat with Army for the first time since March 7th, 2016. 2 1 overtime is your final. And there's just one more game to tell you about. Metalwork challenged Nafti Kimik on the road and it doesn't go well for the two-time Gagarin Cup champs. Early into the game, former Guelph Storm and Minnesota Wild forward Zach Mitchell scores his third of the year on Vasily Kosichkin. A little later, Pavel Faradin wins the foot race against Paul Postman, skates in on a rendezvous with Kosichkin, but the latter shuts the door. Second period now, Magnitko on a power play, the puck bounces to wide open Maxim Matoshkin, but he whiffs on the shot. Soon after that, Sergei Mazakin makes his left pass to the far post and Dennis Rasmussen hits the post. Still 1-0 home team. Melo keeps the pressure on and soon Grigory Drona feeds Dennis Parkin for a sure goal, but this time Alexander Shevchenkov slides across just in time to keep it out. Moving on to the third and the Wolves double their lead. Rafael Bikmulan puts it on that from the point. Koshkin gives up a bad rebound and Timur Hafiza scores his first career KHL goal. They secure the win late in regulation as Hafizov sends Pavel Paradin in on a break and Paradin delivers. That's his fifth of the year and he's tied for first in the league in that department with Structures Lukas Sedlak. Kurichenkov stops 29 shots for his sixth career shutout and Naftikimi blanked the opposition for the second consecutive time. 3 0 is your final. And that's it for your daily KHL update, but do come back tomorrow for five more games, including Salawat you live up till at the list and Spartak vs. Dynamo Riga. My name is Andrea Sachinka, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.